Welcome back to video four. Video three, I pose the critical thinking question if this is the Cowboy D chord, and it is, and this is the D chord that we defined last video, what D chord is in between? It's very simple to discern. Let's take the Cowboy D chord. We know this is Maverick one on the second string, third fret. Let's move, we know that the D major chord is made up in the D scale of the first, third, and fifth notes in the scale. So this is the first note in the Cowboy D chord. Let's move that up to the third note because that's also in the D major chord. So we go up to the second, note to the third note on the fifth fret on the second string we know that that note is also the third note in the d scale which means it's the um, a part is one note of the three notes that comprise the d chord so this is one of the three notes let's go to the third note on the second fret and move up to the fifth note there's the third. We know from the third to the fourth is a half step, one fret. And we know from the fourth to the fifth is a whole step. So the fifth fret, first string, is the fifth note of the D scale. We have the third note on the seventh fret of the second string. So those two notes right there are two thirds of the D major chord. We're lacking one note, which is Maverick, the first note. So let's go to the third string, which is the fifth note in the D scale. Let's move up to the sixth note. To the seventh note, that's Goose. We know right in front of Goose, half step, one fret, is Maverick, that's the seventh note excuse me that's the seventh fret on the third string so that right there is the d chord in between the cowboy chord and the one that we had way up here defined in the third video d chord they're all the same chord all the same one third and fifth notes in the D scale, but they're on different strings. So we have D chord, cowboy chord. We have, again, I'll, I'll note this. This is Maverick on the uh, first string. Excuse me, second string, uh, third fret. He's the first note, the root note of the D scale. Third note is on the first string. Fifth note is on the third string. When we move up to the next chord, the third string houses the first note because this is five, six, seven, one. The next one up is the third note. The next one up is the fifth note. Here's how you know very quickly to move. Take the top note on the third string, go to the first fret three, excuse me, the first string three frets up. That note is in the um, D chord and it happens to be the third, fourth, fifth note. This is what I call the bobsled shape. This is the Maverick, or excuse me, this is the Top Gun shape. There's Maverick, there's Goose. This is the wing one or wing two. There's another wing. That's the shape of the F-14. If you go from the third string, three frets up to the first string, that note automatically is in the D chord. 
this is the bobsled. This is like, if you can envision a bobsled, this is the bobsled. Take the top note, the third string, do the same thing. Go up three frets. That's the uh, 11th, excuse me, that's the 10th fret. That note is also in the D major chord. And we know from video three that that's the shape of the D major chord way up here. That to me looks like a cliff diver. Think of Acapulco, a cliff diver about to dive into the water. This is his arm stretched or his, her arm stretched out front. This is the body right here. And above that, we repeat back to the cowboy D, which we know is the top gun shape. So we have this shape here, go up three, There's the top gun shape. This is again the 14th and 15th frets. It's a basic D cowboy shape chord of the D chord way down here. Check me on the next one. Do not proceed until you know all of this.